Yo, yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another beginner guide to creating your own 5M server. For this video or this episode, guys, we're going to be looking at your XM, uh, my SQL, to be precise, and we're going to be looking at basically this is your your service database. This is where everything gets stored and where you can make changes. Um, but I would suggest that you only make changes if it's necessary. Um, don't now go make changes to spite the player and whatever the case may be. You know, we, we don't want to create beef in your server. So, in this, as we go on, I'll explain to you guys um, more in detail. Uh, this is just a small intro, so I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. If you guys are new to this, please, guys, do give me a follow. Um, there will also be a pop-up in the right corner that will take you to part, to part one and part two or now to start your own server to from the beginning um like i said this is going to be hopefully uh, a lot of uh, videos episodes um and obviously in between the parts i'll do videos like this uh, upon requests if you guys have any questions uh, please do pop it in the comments um or you guys can just join my Discord and we can we can do a one on one. Um, that's also available, guys, free of charge. So then, if without any further ado, guys, let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is your server needs to be running. You need to have your XM control panel open. All right. And then you're gonna click on my SQL admin, and this will take you to your browser, and this will open up your database. Okay. Then the first thing we need to do is I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and make this as short and sweet as possible. So database. And then here's all your servers. This is, so I've got four, one, two, three, four. And the one that we're going to be working in is one of my old servers, which has a lot of data. Um, and not the one that we, we've started with in part one and part two. Um, the reason being is I just, I want to show you guys um, what happens if you have players in there and you need to change things. Obviously, if I open up this one, let me just show you guys quickly. As you guys can see, uh, there it's zero, zero, zero because there's not much going on. Obviously, the bank accounts go in there. It's zero, zero, zero. All right, but don't, don't, don't stress too much about that. Um, we're gonna go back here. All right, the database. All right. So, like I said, the server we're working on is a five seven four zero. If you're not sure which server you're working on. You can just always open up your main server folder, TX data, and this is the one. Kiwi Core Framework 5740. And that's the one that's running at the moment. All right. All right. 5740. This is the one. We click on that one. And guys, this is literally everything that is installed in your server. Every script. So not all of them will pop up here, but the majority of the scripts especially if there's data that needs to be held or kept or stored all right and we're going to start off just i'm just going to do a quick uh just a quick walk through bank accounts just so you guys can understand how this database works so this is the ems the ambulance bank account obviously we don't use this a lot we didn't use this a lot in the server so the amount is not won't be that great you guys can see the mechanics they make the most money here because obviously the guys like to repair their vehicles and upgrade their vehicles again if you double click on this guys this is where you can change the value like i said guys you don't want to mess around with this unless it's absolutely necessary where you have to upgrade up, uh, <clears throat> change a script for example and you're changing this and that and then you can maybe write this down change this to whatever you please or you can just say export um so you can export it as a mysql this what will happen is and it will make a backup of that specific um tab which is a bank account or if you just need it for keeping record you can export this uh, pdf and so on and so forth all right but we're not going to focus on that we're just going to focus on a few things that that well it happens in my case and i'm sure it's going to happen with you guys as well but what I'm going to explain that is the same to all the other tabs. All right. Um, as you guys can see, there's only one stash here. 
the stash belongs to the mafia you can see what's in it in its stash and so on the slots the weight what's in there and so the passwords and so this again this is also when someone forgot his password let's say he has a stash he doesn't know his password but obviously this one doesn't need a password so if there was a password this would have been true and then you would have the the password the weight you can change the weight as well and so on guys i do apologize i'm talking fast for this part because like i said this is just more more or less examples the stuff that you might look at the most is your players in your player vehicles um the reason being is sometimes you you add vehicles into your server and we human we make mistakes so let's say two months down the line everyone is purchasing let's say the golf gtd and you picked up that the, the golf gtd is giving you issues and you decided i'm going to remove the gtd and I'm, i've got a better gtd that i want to replace it with so now you remove that gtd you delete the file and you add another vehicle but then you realize you forgot to inform your players that you have done so you don't need to stress and i'm gonna stop here quickly please guys it's very important that you make backup of all your files and folders but it if you guys watch the end of the video i'll show you guys how to make backup so before you even touch this stuff guys please do make a backup all right so <clears throat> we've removed the, 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 the vehicle we've added another vehicle now we didn't inform our players that we have removed this vehicle players fly in they spawn the vehicle and they get head pops or the vehicle doesn't show up or you have a lot of issues now so now we need to go and remove that vehicle from all those players and unfortunately you've deleted the file you don't know where the file is so you can't put that vehicle back again this is the best way to fix that issue so what we're going to do is we're going to go to player and we're going to look for player vehicles all right you click on player vehicles and you're going to say show all okay so then you're going to have a long list of all the vehicles um and this is random and this is mixed so but it's going to be vehicles for every single player in your server so in this case we just want to remove a certain vehicle so what do we need to do is you guys can see here's all the tabs here so you can sort the thing by either normally i would sort by citizen if i if there's one citizen that there's this issue then i just sort by citizen and sort it out I'll, I'll show you guys how to get this information as well all right so for now we just need to remove a specific vehicle what we need to do is we click on vehicle and it's going to sort everything alphabetically so now let's say go okay let's say the golf the golf r as you guys can see here it's two different people you can see id 15 id 45 that has these vehicles so and this is a vehicle that we took out we changed and so on so now you want to remove this vehicle obviously just make sure that you got the names of these players so you can reimburse them so now what you need to do is you click those two vehicles and you press delete and immediately those vehicles are out of the garage all right easy as that let's say i've got the player he said listen here um i can't pull this vehicle out of my garage or can you please remove this vehicle whatever the case may be he gives you the vehicle's name and he gives you his id his citizen id or just his id or he even gives you his name so if you have his name i'll show you guys how to get his uh, citizen id or id all right so let's say this person wants to remove the m3 and this is a car we click on that car and we say delete all right so now we've we've covered the vehicle the player vehicle so i'm going to go to player 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 players there we go click on players i'm going to say show all so let's say um bumpy so let's say bumpy there's an issue with his vehicle and we don't know his id he doesn't know his id so what we're doing to do is we've got bumpy and now we know he has his citizen id 386 okay you can go back to your vehicles uh player vehicles player vehicles 
click on player vehicles and we see okay no sorry guys i actually made a, a mess up here the wrong um database so again <clears throat> bumpy where is he now bumpy wants to remove a vehicle his id is 386 okay oh, yeah, his citizen id is 386 at the end we go back to the database we go to play vehicles click on player vehicles we sorted by citizen id and we know we're looking for 386 then we know this is bumpy and we remove the car because this is the only car that he owns right okay let's just go back to player there we go let's make sure there we go players there we go again guys so now we've got bumpy bumpy's he's been using um mods he's been hacking he's been going crazy and bumpy's bank account or cash is unlimited and again guys like i said this is only when you have issues don't come here to spy on people and so on so let's say bumpy's got like nine 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 this is his bank account come in here bumpy's we we know bumpy's been using exploit we know he's been cheating so we have the right to come in here we're telling you listen here bumpy you're gonna start from scratch we're not gonna remove your player and anything we're just gonna remove the money and your vehicles all right so we come here go to bumpy's thing and we delete let's say let's let's be lenient and we say let's remove this from bumpy's account and we give him 40k we're happy with that and immediately it will sh change in the server all right so let's say bumpy has created another character and he's happy but now we want to give bumpy's new character the same money or you know there's some sort of arrangement or you want to delete that character same thing you'll need to do is just click on that and you say delete and that's it guys uh, i think this is simple to understand once you've played around with it it's very easy to understand um so yeah the main place where you'll be working on is uh, players and player vehicles um again guys very very important oh, before you do any changes to this please make a backup and to do that you're gonna see my sql you're gonna go to config you're gonna say browse you're gonna go to data you see so this is basically all the stuff that we saw here now you see the um where's player vehicles here we go play vehicles this is player vehicles for you all right let's play vehicles now there you go then what you need to do is you just take this folder and you make a backup of it i'm just going to cancel that and then you can make changes so if you made a mistake you can always just delete folder and put the backup folder back again it's very important guys that you make a backup of your main server folder as well as your mysql folder to make sure that if you do mess up you can always go to your backups it is very very important that you guys do that trust me it will save you a lot a lot of trouble again guys if you have any questions please do leave it in the comments or you can join my discord the link will be in the description down below and i can assist you um i think that's all for now and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one chaos gaming out